Hi, in this video we're going to be applying a box shadow to a square or rectangular element on our page and we're going to be making use of the inset keyword that comes with box shadow. We're also going to be applying multiple shadows in one CSS attribute and we're going to end up with something like this on the page here which has a button appearance to it and we're going to create that using box shadow only. So let's look at some code for this. The first thing we'll need is a div tag and we're just going to give the div tag a class of shadow three and that's all the markup we'll need really everything else is just the standard html5 code that's required for any page and as you can see we've got a link here to our style sheet um, which is where we're going to write our styles which is this file here so let's save that and move on to some styles first of all i'm just going to apply some styles to the body of the page um, provide a background color um, of a gray color and remove any margin that's added to the page by default. Then I'm going to style the div itself with the shadow uh, class just by giving it a background color, um, a white background color in this case, and a width of 400 pixels, height of 200 pixels, some padding, a width, of, uh, sorry, some margin and float it left. Now I'm going to move on to adding this the shadow itself. Um, so I'll need a shadow three selector. And before I put anything in the selector, um, let's look at what we have on the page at the moment. So at the moment we just have the empty um, white div there with no shadow on it at all. So let's start applying the shadow. So I obviously need, first of all need box shadow and then I'm going to apply the first um, of the two shadows and the way to apply multiple shadows is just by comma separating um, the shadow values so you'll see that in a second. So I'm using the inset keyword as well and the inset keyword comes first so I say inset to tell the box shadow um, and, and instruct the page to uh, render the shadow inside the box, um, not outside the border of the box. And then I'm going to apply an X offset, a Y offset and a blur radius and a color for my first shadow. Okay, so let's see what that first shadow looks like. Just the basic shadow at the top left. Now let's apply the second shadow. And as I said, just comma separate the shadows. Again, I'm going to use the inset keyword and provide a X offset, Y offset, blur radius, and a color. And that's my second shadow. Let's see what that looks like. There we are, we're starting to build that button up nicely using the inset uh, box shadows. The final thing I'm going to do is just give a border radius, which is a real simple property. You just instruct the, uh, the page to render um, a slight radius on the edges of the element. Um, and, then, and I'm going to provide 10 pixels to that. And you can see now we have the button effect that we were trying to achieve using box shadow uh, and focusing on the inset box shadows.